All right, so this was a very random discovery. We just pulled off a side road off the highway and just like went down until we found uh, like a service track, this a very basic track leading up to like a lake that's over there and decided to take a walk. And right here, we spotted uh, blueberries. I don't know if they're blue. They might be bilberries. It's hard to tell. Right here, these are uh, these are blueberries or bilberries. I guess you can't tell until you break them open. And right by these, over here, are crowberries. There's not hardly any berries on it, but this is the uh, these are the leaves that you're looking for. It looks almost like an evergreen, like tiny little pine needle shaped leaves. They're soft though. I don't think they're actual pine needles, but they're just like very, very tiny little leaves. So they look like uh, like an evergreen. And the berries are so tiny they're hard to find. But uh, let's uh, let's take a look at the blueberries first. Because these look like they're ready to go. And they're, they're like all over the place too. They look ready. And they're covered in mosquitoes. If it's red on the inside, bilberry. If it's white, or green on the inside, it's a blueberry. That is a bilberry. And that's really good. Mmm. Nice and tart. But it doesn't taste like unripe. It just has more sourness than a blueberry does. Usually how people will pick these is they use this little hand rake and they'll rake it over the plants and the blueberry will hit the rake and they pop off and you can take big buckets full that way. Don't have one of those so I'm just gonna do it manually but just like this when you see one you see like all these other plants so this whole area this is nothing but blueberries like all of this all the way up through here this is all blueberries and all throughout here alongside these are all crowberries. So this is a, a killer little spot. And I think they need a lot of light because they are they seem to be concentrated right here on the side of this road. So there's like a little bit of clearance where the sun can shine. There's not too much shade. So this is probably a good way to find berries is to like kind of look alongside uh, a clearing like this because then you're going to get an area that's getting a little bit more sunlight, so you're going to be able to find them. And those shiny leaves, I believe those are lingonberries. And there's another species of bilberry that has this red leaf here. So all throughout here are more than one type of berry, but it is uh, is insane how many berries are out in this forest right now. Like, you could fill buckets with it. Hello! So I am here in Helsinki, Finland. Behind me is the central market of Helsinki. And in front of me are two blueberry varieties. One is your standard supermarket blueberry. They're a little bit bigger than usual, but uh, these are actually imported. I won't lie, these are not grown in Finland, these are grown in Portugal. So just regular old blueberries. Next to them though are very special grown in Lapland, Finland bilberries. Also known as European blueberries. They're uh, a lot smaller and they're also supposed to have a lot more flavor than your standard blueberry. So I'm going to try the, uh, the regular one first. It's um, good taste how you'd expect it to taste but if I can give like the little scales on it sweetness is quite high it's sweeter than an apple I'd say like a, like a six out of ten maybe a seven out of ten um, sourness is there but quite low I would say like a three out of ten it's less than an orange that's good you know what blueberries taste like bilberries however uh, let's try it I'm gonna try just one on its own uh, I'm tempted to take a handful because they're so small, but they're supposed to be more flavorful. So let's see if like this tiny one has more flavor than these big ones. 
it doesn't have more blueberry flavor, but it does have more tartness to it. Tartness on that is like a six out of 10. It is more than an orange, not quite a lemon. The sweetness on it is, I think, less. I'd say like a three out of 10 for sweetness. But they're very powerful. They've got a little strength in them for their size. They have a little bit of an herbal taste to them. Kind of like eating the top of a strawberry or something. And the flavor itself is different. They're more complicated. These ones have like a very clean, simple flavor. Just like blueberry and sweet. The big ones have like maybe like a touch of a um, herbal taste, like a, like a hint of basil. The bilberries don't really have basil. They've got just like a mixture of like random herbs. It's a little herbaceous, a little bit more sour, a little less clean blueberry taste. Like when you eat one of these, it's like having like blueberry syrup, blueberry jam. This one, uh, not so much. There's a little bit more complexity to it. I think maybe I like the bilberries more just because there's a little bit more to it. They have like a little bit of a roughness to them that the standard blueberry does not have. Like these are like a little bit too clean tasting. It's like a little too sterile. Uh, these ones have like a little roughness to it that I really like. So I'd say the bilberries are better and they also have a little bit more pop because there's more sourness to it. And I like sour fruit. So for me, that's really tasty. This would be better uh, as a jam or juice than the regular blueberries. Both are good fresh, but these would be better in that sort of application because it has more uh, pop to it. But otherwise, uh, I think it depends on what you like. Me personally, I think I edge towards the bilberries a little bit. So here is another, I don't know what this is. Here's the bilberry, the regular bilberry. And you can see the leaves are a little bit greener. The fruits are a different color. On the bilberry, they're like a light blue and they've got like a dusty outer coating. This one is dark and shiny and has red leaves. The shape of the leaf is very similar, but the coloring is different. So I'm not sure if this is a different species or if it's a different cultivar. I'm, I'm guessing it's probably a different species. Having the, the outside be so different, so shiny like that, makes me think it's different. It's also red on the inside. And the flavor on that is really good. It's a little bit different than the regular bilberry because it has a little bit more of a berry flavor. A little bit like strawberries and raspberries mixed in there. It's not just tart blueberry. Like bilberries are, are more like a tart blueberry. This has a little bit more to it. Like a lot of like different forest berries mixed together in, uh, in one berry. Really tasty. I prefer those actually over the regular bilberries. I gotta figure out what the species are on these, and if I figure it out, I will put that in the video. But it is something to look out for. Not all these berries are the same. And they grow alongside each other. So here's the one with the red leaves and that dark berry. If you can see it right there. And then right next door is this one with the dusty outer covering to it. Throughout this whole area, it's like that. They're like right next to each other like that. They just keep going and going and going all the way across the forest floor. Everywhere you look, these are all bilberries. Everywhere. It's just like carpeting the entire forest. I want to give a special shout out to AltPod and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon is how this channel happens. It's how I can afford to do all the things that I do. So if you want to help me out by supporting the channel and getting some bonuses along the way, check out the description. I also have these shirts for sale. Those are in the description as well. See you next time. Bye.